guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be um, answering most Googled hamster questions. Um, unfortunately, I still do not know how to screen record on here. Um, I tried to follow the instructions online, but it just simply didn't work. Um, so let's get started. And this video is going to be all in one clip, so it will be a better, easier video. So I'm just going to get on to Google real quick I'm on Google so I'm going to type why is my hamster and see what pops up why is my hamster screeching uh, it's probably screeching because it's terrified in that kind of situation um, and that's not very good um, hamsters should never screech or scream, I would say, in their life because um, that just means they're completely terrified and they're really stressed out and that's not really good. Why is my hamster so hyper? Well, hamsters are pretty hyper. Um, I, I honestly don't know how to answer that question, but hamsters are typically hyper. Why is my hamster biting me? Uh, in a typical situation, it's probably because your hamster's in a small cage like this. Um, and that's a creature I'll pop up a couple on the screen. Um, critter trails and small cages, um, like these are not the best cages. Um, but it's probably biting you because it's stressed out and it's in a small cage. Um, and that kind of scenario. Why is my hamster squeaking? Um, I don't. I don't think, ham yeah, hamsters do do tiny squeaks, but that is normal. Why is my hamster climbing the cage? Um, if you're talking about monkey bar climbing like this, um, it is because your hamster is very stressed out um, because the cage is too small and it wants to get out and get some exercise. You might be saying, oh, it looks so cute. She's doing monkey bar climbing. But no, uh, it just means your hamster is very stressed out. So as if that's happening to you guys, I'd suggest you get a new cage under 450 square inches. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next question. Why is my hamster trying to escape? Again, with that scenario, some t uh, there's two different scenarios in this. Um, the hamster can either be in a tiny cage. A lot of stressful things are about tiny cages. The hamster can either be in a super tiny cage and it really wants to get out because you never take it out and something like that. Or the hamster is really curious. Uh, this did happen to Navea. This is her channel. She's my cousin. Um, she explained it on one of her collabs. She's and the hamster actually didn't end up passing away, sadly, um, from escaping because it did go, chew through some cords into the dishwasher and drown. But um, that is life. Um, but those are the two scenarios that could have happened. And why is my hamster not moving? Your hamster is eat uh, There's two scenarios for this one. Your hamster is either sleeping or it has passed. Um, if it has passed, you should just make a little grave or something for it like this. Um, or if it's not moving, oh, there's three scenarios. Sorry. If it's not moving, like um, when I, I'll give you an example. So I walked into my room, I turned the light on, then my hamster suddenly stopped moving. She was on a wheel, and I nudged her, like trying to like lightly tapped her and stuff, trying to see if she was alive or just shocked or something. Um, but she was alive. Um, hamsters just typically do that. Um, when they hear a loud noise, uh, they can go into a complete froze uh, like this for like a while. Um, but yeah. So that's it for why is my hamster. If you want, <laughs> I will show you guys the screen. Why is my hamster? That's it for why is my hamster. Um, but let's see what else. Um, let's put, what do I need? Hamster. No. Did I already 
do why is my hamster did i yeah i did um let's see what do i do if my hamster what do i do if my hamster bites me if your hamster bites you it's probably um a just an aggressive hamster which typically is not the case or it's in a small tiny cage like a cooker trail um, and also the bare minimum is on the screen, 450 square inches. Um, so if your hamster is in a cage below that, I really suggest you upgrade. Um, and if that's not affordable for you guys right now, um, it would be super great if you got a bin cage. It's so affordable. Um, here's a picture of Victoria Rachel's video on how to do um, a bin cage. I love that channel. She does videos on herbs on everything great types of herbs and she does a lot of great hamster videos um but if your hamster bites you that's probably um because small cage or aggression because some hamsters are just very aggressive because um what their old situation was um because most hamsters from the pet store come from mills and same with adopting hamsters they are rescued from coming from a mill but i would rather adopt than shop um because if you shop that is supporting a mill but i had to get uh, my hamster from a pet store which is supporting a mill and i know that's not great but um that was my only option um but if your hamster bites you should definitely upgrade your cage or it might just because of their past life um what do i do if my hamster dying um I don't know how to answer that question. If your hamster is like completely passed away, then you should maybe, um, if you, there are several ways you can bury it, you can keep its ashes, you could do many ways, you could, um, but if it's literally like choking or something, rush it to the vet as immediately like if you see it like very hurt and you think it's gonna pass away then you would immediately rush it to the vet is what i'd say what do i do if my hamster has babies um if your hamster has babies it's probably because it was together um in the pet store or you're keeping two hamsters together which i really don't suggest dwarfs are social um it says on Google it's social, I'm pretty sure, but um, Syrians are not. But it is also very not re recommended to keep dwarfs together because um, they still do fight. And if you're going to be keeping the uh, dwarfs together, you should have a minimum of 800 square inches. Minimum. That's the bare minimum for two dwarf hamsters. And you should have two of everything um, for them not to be fighting. But having Syrians together is just completely not acceptable because they will fight either way. Um, but if your hamster has babies, um, you should do some research on it and care for the pups. And if you want to keep the pups, you can. If you want to sell the pups, you can. What do I do if my hamster escaped? If your hamster escaped, if you have a security camera in your house, like, um, Nevaeh does, um, you can look to see if the hamster's, any footage has been caught the day it escaped, um, and if you don't, I think you should look for it, like, everywhere, um, probably if it's only escaped, like, an hour or two ago, if you know the exact time escape, um, which probably most people wouldn't, then just look in your room, like, wherever the hamster is kept, but I would suggest looking all over your house. It might take a couple days for people. Some people have found their hamsters months later and they had been dead, uh, which is very sad. But that's just what happens sometimes. But I would suggest looking for it as much as you can. What do I do if my hamster's sick? If your hamster's sick, you should take it to the vet immediately because um, you. some people don't know what sickness it is. But... Um, if your hamster has a wire mesh wheel, that's probably bumblefoot. If your hamster has calcium and sand, it's probably another sickness, you know. Um, what do I do if my hamster has diarrhea? Um, I haven't experienced any hamsters with diarrhea, um, but I would suggest taking it to a vet 
as soon as possible. What do I do if my hamster is trying to escape? If you catch your hamster in the act trying to escape, I'd suggest you stop it from escaping, like if it's climbing on the like out of the cage or like open the door of the cage, then you should like pick it up, let it out for some playtime, put it back in the cage, and I suggest you supervise it for 30 minutes mini minimum and um, give it more playtime because it's probably because your hamster wants to get out badly. Um, what do I do if my hamster keeps biting me? You can train your hamster, um, and that's a very easy thing to do. Um, except for with the robo hamster, that is the hardest hamster to train. But hamsters can be pretty simple to train. Uh, you can train it um, to like you more. Uh, it might be because um, some people, when they grab their hamster, they just go in the cage and immediately grab it. Um, which I really don't suggest, and that might be why it's disliking you or biting you. Um, but yeah, next question, and then we have one more question after, and we are going to um, end the video there because it's at 11 minutes. No, it's at 12 minutes right now. I think, like, around that. <laughs> um, so, what do I do if my hamster is scared of me? Um, if your hamster, like when you go to grab it or pick it up, um, you should, I think some hamsters are just like that. They are completely scared of hams, uh, humans and they will be from com for the rest of their life. But some hamsters, you can, if you just got the hamster or if you had the hamster for a year, some hamsters are probably just like that. Um, but if you just got the hamster, I'd say just give it about six days, leave it alone, and try to uh, like give it a treat once in a while, and like maybe put some a pair of gloves on and put your hand in, because you don't know how, if the hamster is scared of you, um, you don't know how it's gonna react. It might bite you or try to attack your fingers. Um, so I'd suggest having gloves on. Um, what do I do if my hamster eats chocolate? If your hamster eats chocolate, uh, first, before you bring it to the vet, I would suggest um, trying to get your hamster to drink water. Don't force feed it water, but like uh, maybe put a little dab of water on your finger and then pick it up, put it in its carrier, and bring it to the vet. Sometimes that's not necessary, but um, in all matter, if it only had like a little dot of chocolate, it may not be necessary, but I would consider bringing it to the vet. So guys, I know my outfit is unmatching, but whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!